This graph ranks substances by how likely they are to cause cancer, and at the very top you have things that we know cause cancer in humans, like smoking, alcohol, and UV rays from the sun. But buried in that same list are estrogen and progesterone, the hormones in the contraceptive pill. If you are taking hormonal contraceptives, it's increasing your risk of breast cancers. Now, it sounds scary, but does it actually mean taking birth control is as risky for you as the other things on that list, like smoking? I'm a doctor, and let me explain. Well, the contraceptive pill has actually been on that list since 1999, and when the WHO says something causes cancer, they're actually talking about hazard not risk and the two are very different things if you think of a shark attack a shark in the water is a hazard but it only becomes a risk if you get in the water so just because two things are in the same hazard group doesn't mean they carry the same risk it's like comparing the risk of being attacked by a shark with one person swimming right next to it and then the other person who's just standing by the beach with their toes in the water but that said you may have also heard that birth control increases the risk of breast cancer by 20 to 30 percent not just by a little bit not just a couple percentage points by 20 to 30 percent again this sounds scary but needs nuance Breast cancer itself isn't actually very common in young people. And although birth control has been shown to increase breast cancer risk, a 20% increase is actually really small. It's like saying it's going to rain 20% more today compared to yesterday, which sounds like a lot, but if yesterday it only drizzled for about 5 minutes, today it's only going to rain for 6 minutes. That's still a 20% increase, but in reality it's only 1 minute more. One major study found that for women aged 20, hormonal contraception only caused about 8 extra cases of breast cancer per 100,000 women over a 15 year period. So this is really small and really nothing to worry about. It causes all this unnecessary fear when there's not evidence that, you know, regulated exposures of anything on that list are really going to increase a person's risk of cancer. So please stop listening to unqualified people online. I'm a doctor turned video journalist and I made a full deep dive with Dr. Andrew Love on why it seems like everything now causes cancer. You can watch the full video down below and follow for more medical explainers like these.